Welcome to pre-math. In this video tutorial, we have got these two line segments AB and BC and they are perpendicular to each other. And moreover, the line segment AB is 5 units, whereas this line segment BC is 12. And this line segment BC passes through this center of the circle. And now we are going to calculate the radius of this given circle. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and extend this line segment BC to some point D on this circle such that uh, this uh, CD is the diameter of this circle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And once again, just keep in your mind that this CD is the diameter. And here's our next step. Let's go ahead and connect this point A with points C and D. Let's go ahead and connect this point A with the, this C and D. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. Then according to the Thales theorem, this angle CAD, this angle is 90 degrees. And here's our Thales theorem. If A, B and C are distinct point on this circle where the line AC is the diameter, then this angle ABC is going to be a right angle that means it's going to be 90 degrees so therefore our this angle CAD is 90 degrees and here's our next step let's suppose that this line segment BD is X units and now let's focus on these three triangles the triangle DAC the triangle ABD and the triangle ABC now let me go ahead and call this angle alpha, this angle alpha and this angle as beta. Then these two angles alpha and beta are called complementary angles. And here's the definition of complementary angles. Two angles are complementary if they add up to 90 degrees and we can see that alpha and beta they add up to 90 degrees and now we know that this angle is alpha this is 90 degrees so this angle has got to be beta as well and since these both alpha and beta are complementary angles and likewise if this angle is beta and if this is 90 degree angle so this angle has got to be alpha so thus we conclude that these two triangles, the triangle ABD and this triangle ABC are similar triangles according to angle angle theorem. So therefore we are going to have the proportions. Let's go ahead and equate these uh, ratios. The first ratio is going to be X divided by 5 equals to 5 over 12. Now let's go ahead and solve for x. So we are going to multiply by 5 on both sides. So this 5 and 5 is gone. So we got x equal to 25 over 12. And now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number 1. And here's our next step. Let's suppose that the radius of this uh, circle is uh, r. I'm going to say lowercase r. That means this radius is r and this radius is r as well. And let's also observe that this whole diameter CD is going to be the sum of uh, this length x and this length 12 so that diameter is going to be simply 12 plus x so therefore i can write this diameter 12 plus x equals to the 
twice the radius r plus r which is going to become 2r and now let's go ahead and isolate x so i'm going to bring 12 on the other side so x is going to be 2r minus 12 now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number two go ahead and compare these two equations equation number one and equation two since the left hand sides are same i can equate the right hand side as well so i can write this one as 2r minus 12 equals to 25 over 12 solve for r so i'm going to put this one one underneath this one to make it a fraction let's go ahead and cross multiply so we are going to get 24 r minus 144 equals to 25 let's divide both side by 24 so that means our this r value turns out to be 169 divided by 24 so thus our radius r turns out to be a 169 divided by 24 units or in terms of decibels this is approximately equal to 7.042 units thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye